what's good my uh, love so we're about to trim my hair today and um i got my scissors my little hair scissors i think i got these from um dollar general or somewhere and i gotta find some comb once again if you're not comfortable trimming your own hair go see a professional um i'm comfortable trimming my own hair because I don't know. I'm always cutting my hair. I've cut my hair off twice and went natural twice. Um, and plus, I'm just I'm just comfortable cutting it because I know once it goes back, um, and I should say dusting it because it's not a full trim. It's more like a dusting. So I feel comfortable doing it because it's my hair. I personally don't mind if I trim off too much or whatever so if you want it done um right go to a professional because I can't see the back of my head once I get to the back of my head I'm turning and stuff like that I'm pretty much playing a guessing game so I'm gonna show y'all my hair cuz y'all probably won't be seeing it straight too much because it's probably all going to stay like this for a while. Because I stay in Mobile, Alabama. Which is the rainiest city in the United States, I think. So. And when it's the rainiest and it's summertime. That means it's the most humid state. Also. So. Um. I guess we should get started. I'm not going to go too crazy because all of my hair doesn't need trim. I trimmed it three months ago. So, I'm going to just go in the spots where I just absolutely, positively know that I know that I know. And to make it even, I'm going to start in those spots and then I'm going to go all the way around so see how this looks pretty much even except for when you get right there okay I'm not gonna trim right there. I'm going to start at the ends. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's like some little sprigs right there. Get that as even as possible. And this is what I like to call a dusting. Okay, this is a good example. Um, let me see. Y'all see all this hair that's just sticking out? And this is where the last piece in. I'm gonna trim all of that. Whee. Just like that. I 
I'm gonna go through. Trimming as much as possible. Wherever I see I need it. Notice I'm pulling my hair straight up and trimming. Or straight out and trimming. I'm not holding it down or anything like that. Okay, y'all see again where it's even right there. That's where I'm going to trim it. Okay. Now when I get to the back, I go out like this to the side. All that right there needs to be trimmed. And I'll do that all the way around. See, there's a lot of it right there. Now we're going to go to the other side. Get my hair in the front up here. Like this, like this. Now y'all see why I call it a dusting and not a trim. Because I'm not cutting a large portion, portion of my hair off. I'm just doing as much as I think I need to. And I'm trying to do the same around all the way around. If I've been cutting this much for most of my hair and I get to a section and it's like this much should need to be trimmed, I'm not going to trim it because either I need to comb it back out or I'm holding it wrong. So make sure you're always holding your hair right and this is the center part of my head
and I go up, I grip it, and then I bring it back down so I can see. Do it like this so I can see. Okay. Well, I'm about to finish this. That's pretty much the uh, method that I use to dust my hair. So, um,. So, um, I'm going to go finish and I'll be back to let y'all see. And I'm going to also show y'all me bumping my ends. Uh, I mean, bumping my hair after I have, um, finished so y'all can see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, y'all. So, I'm done, um dusting my ends and I parted my hair how I like to wear it so now I'm just gonna bump it with a flat iron I'm not really bumping it I'm gonna do um it's not really a roller set it's more like a it's not a body it's not a um y'all see that <laughs> but it's not a um Rose, it's not a rose head. I don't know. Y'all see. I'm just about to put some curls in my hair. And I'm going to do these, this in big sections because there's no point in doing it in small sections. I want to hurry up and get done with it. And this is what I do. It takes like a second. I don't hold it on there. I just... Well, I do hold it on there, but I twist it around, and that's it. I'm not, like, letting it sit on there for long. Bigger sections, I might do that, too. But y'all see? So, I'm going to do these all the way around my head. And, well, let me finish off the front for y'all. And I take a good healthy section or whatever. You see this one? It didn't take all the way. So I'm going to have to. There you go. And you can do these as tight or as loose as you want them. I'm doing them kind of tight right now because I am going to wrap my hair up and go to bed. So that's going to have help loosen the curls. So I want them kind of tight. So I don't completely lose that curl. And notice I'm not, um, I'm not combing them out yet. I'll comb them out at the end if I decide to comb them out. Sometimes I might just roll them around like this. And I might take one of these, which I think I am going to end up doing. And do it like that. Pin it in there. And take them down tomorrow. 
Yeah, I think I am going to end up doing that, though. So, let me finish. And I'll come back and show y'all the end result. I wanted to um, show y'all how I do the ones at the end because I want to keep some of that length. I do them like this and I pull them straight down and that gives me my bump but it doesn't give me a tight curl like these up here. So let's show y'all again. Let me comb this piece of hair out. And y'all, as I was going along, I did see some spots where, because this is, I was parting it, and then I was going in and curling it. So, I did see some spots that I had skipped when I was trimming. So, that's no big deal. Just go and, um, go ahead and, um, trim those when you see them, when you get to them. And that's all you do. Because like I said, in the back of my head, it's harder for me to see what I'm doing. So, let me see. Grab it, twist it, and pull it down. I hope that worked. <laughs> I hope that worked. I'm going to show y'all one more time. Because that was like a little odd angle for me okay grab it twist it pull it straight down and if you find you get your curl a little too tight just quickly do that to it and it should loosen up a little bit Saw a piece of hair that I had skipped. There you go. Awesome. So my hair is trimmed. It's washed. Well, washed, trimmed, deep conditioned, and uh, straightened. So let me grab my comb and I'll show y'all what's up. So I have my um olive oil right here by ORS Nourishing Sheen Spray and I'm going to put some of this on it. <laughs> and my paddle brush, my goodie, good, goodie paddle brush, my detangle it and I'm going to just do this right here. This is how I'm probably going to end up wrapping my hair. Just spring it around. And if I was wrapping it right now, I just put my silk scarf around it and go to bed. But I'm not wrapping it. I want y'all to see my curls. It's not really going to be a lot of curls because I used a big barrel. So, it's going to be like a bump. I can wear it like this. Turn it around for y'all. And as you wear it, the curls will fall some. But it's nice, it's bouncy, it's flowy. So let me see. I'm gonna you can tell I wear my part on this side. Do y'all see this? <laughs>
brush some of those down. Yeah, so it came out very pretty. Mm. Okay, now I'm just playing in it. <laughs> See what my part looks like on this side. My hair is a lot bigger on this side because it's the opposite way in which I curled it. But let's see. See, still pretty. And I don't recommend after you do your curls. I do not recommend um using a uh, um, red tail comb because I feel like those kind of knock your curls out quicker so then I do it like this and I'll let y'all see that Those are probably the only styles that I'm aware of with this hair. Um, so I guess that's it for my little trim and style, I guess you could call it. Um, I like it the other way though. Wrap it back around real quick. And at this point, you can also um get some, what's it called? Ugh. That wrap, that clear wrap. And do, put it around your hair and leave it on there for a couple minutes or sit under the dryer with it. And uh, saran wrap. And do your hair like that. But I don't have any saran wrap and they're just too much <laughs> so this is how i will be wearing my hair i mean it pretty much do the same thing it just get it flatter So, y'all are just watching me play with my hair right now. <laughs> Turn around for y'all. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> okay. But like I was saying though, um... I don't have any saran wrap, but it will make your curls fall a little bit more. Um, it just depends on you and what you want for your hair. So whatever you want to do to your hair, 
or have done to your hair if you go to a professional that's fine like i said i was showing y'all what i do to my hair how i trim my hair how i style my hair so y'all it looks like i got a fresh relic so look at them edges baby look at them edges <laughs> Okay, remember I love and you and until next time, bye!